Okay, so let's start. We use code from open borders with interrupts as a base. We start with changing it a bit. First we change FA to 32, this way we get interrupt at the top of the screen. Then we remove almost all code from interrupt service routine. Just leave acknowledge interrupt part there with the jump to kernel stuff. First thing we read current raster line to register Y. 64 lines of raster will be enough to load 3F to X. We need a raster color loop, and we need to read color to A. Then we write current raster line to change, and after that we write color to VIC2 register DO21. Now we increment Y and decrement X, and loop as long as X is positive. I think that should work as simple rasters for this thing. And we need little delay before change background color back to blue. Let's just use loop for delay. We could compare raster line too though. Next we need our raster colors. Let's define 32 pairs, hex 20 that is, of constant bytes of 1 and 0 as temporary color table to get black and white stripes, to see that our timings are about ok. Everything looks ok, so let's run this thing and see what happened. So, we got our 64 lines of rasters, but last line ends bit too early. Let's change delay and run this again. Ok, so now it works, but this is running PAL version. Let's see what happens if we change version to NTSC. Because NTSC has slightly different timings, there are some problems now. Let's try at just one no operation after changing color and run this again. And now rasters are fine, but likely they have problems from PAL version. So, depending what version you are coding for, you need to adjust timings slightly. You could write code that adjusts its timings depending PAL or NTSC version, but it's not in scope of this example. Now that we have things ok and fine again, let's start to make color table for rasters. and then run this. So we have our rasters there. Next we need to write routine to move those rasters. That, like other things, can be made using several different ways. I'm just gonna use simple loop. First we back up last color to Y, then move rest colors one position in loop, and last we write that last color as first. Display order of course is reversed, because we are running our color table backwards in raster color loop. And as we see, now we have our moving rasters, though they look rather bad, so we need to change that. Ok, let's make different move rasters routine, and change raster colors all to black, and rename our previous rasters as color bars instead. Now we need to move rasters, so let's copy some code from previous version. We want to copy 56 colors only, and we don't need to back up any color and we want to move rasters 8 lines instead. Also, we need value for color positions. Next we need to fill 8 new colors to rasters in loop. We read color position to Y, transfer Y to A, mask 2 highest bits off from A because we only have 64 colors in color bars, and then transfer A back to Y. Now we just read color bars with Y as offset value, and write it to raster colors. Increment Y, decrement X, and loop until we are done with whole 8 new colors. Increase color position, and then just return. All looks ok. So, let's call this new move raster routine instead, and run this.
much better raster colors this time with very little change. And here's code with the comments. We forgot to remove chasing last byte of Vic 2 memory bank. It's unnecessary now, so let's remove it. And then we have rest code here with the comments. That's all for this time. Next time I'll be adding to this code. So if you are interested to see these tutorials, please subscribe. And see you next time.